Did you realize that texting on its own can destroy friendships and relationships? It's amazing. What a great piece of technology texting is, and it can be absolutely hell on wheels when it comes to your love life and friendships. David Essel here, David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online community. As your coach, counselor, and cheerleader, I want one thing, your life lifted to the next level. Take notes every time we have these videos. It'd be a great exercise first thing in the morning. And then do something today you'd rather not do. So how can texting destroy friendships and love relationships? I've seen it destroy relationships between moms and their sons, moms and their daughters, moms and dads, dads and their sons, dads and their daughters, lovers, friends. I mean, in 28 years, I think texting has been around for me anyway in my life since around 1998, if I remember correctly. So we're looking at 10 years then, right? Something around 10 years. Oh my Lord, it's incredible of how texting can destroy. How does that happen? Well, it's called a text thread argument. A text thread argument, or I call it a text war, is one of the things that can absolutely destroy friendships, love relationships, family relationships, and more. Why is that? Because in the world of texting, because we're not facing the person, many of us feel very safe and secure in saying things we may not say to their face. And if we were standing next to them and we were willing to say these things to our face, that's another huge issue to their face. It's another huge issue. But via text, we can just rattle off all kinds of stuff. And when I have clients come in and share with me their text messages, you can see it escalate between mom and son, mom and daughter. They're going nuts. All of a sudden, it's freaking 17,000 miles long and it gets worse and worse and worse. Have you ever experienced that? Between coworkers, oh my God, stabbing someone else behind the back. It's amazing. And so there, there's a solution I'm going to give you though. And this is what happens. When you're in a text disagreement, when you're in a text war and it starts and you know when it starts, you may be the one that started it for God's sake. When it starts to get personal and nasty, you, because you're watching the Daily Boost, it's your responsibility to stop it and to call time out. If it's with your partner, this is what I teach my clients to do. Honey, I see this texting is going, is going down a really bad path. I don't want it to continue. I'm going to take two hours off. I'm not going anywhere. I love you. I just don't want to damage our relationship anymore. At 5 p.m., I'll text you back and let's see if we can start it again. That is what I have counseled all of my relationship couples and individuals on for years now. And it works. Because you're telling them you're not leaving them, you love them, you just don't want to damage the relationship. Now, they may keep texting, just do not respond, okay? The first time you respond, when you say you're not going to, going to until 5 o'clock in the evening, you have lost their respect. Hang tough. I know it's hard. Hang tough. Same thing with coworkers. Tell them to text you. This happened the other day in my office. This woman showed me this line of text. She was going back and forth, and they were berating another employee. And I said to her, just out of curiosity, if your boss saw this, what might happen? Her eyes got huge. If this other coworker saw it, what might happen? Her eyes got huge. I said, see how easy it is to sit behind the screen, destroy someone's personality, destroy someone's integrity. But if you wouldn't do it in front of them, don't do it during that. Because as you and your coworker go back and forth, you're getting each other pumped up, excited in a negative way. Same thing can happen with friends. I thought you said you were gonna meet me at noon. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. You're a moron. No, I'm not. I just forgot. I told you you're a moron. No, I'm not. You're a moron. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Take time out. If it's a coworker, say, you know what? I don't think this is a good idea. I'll talk to you after work. Then maybe you don't even talk to him about it. If it's a friend, apologize. I'm so sorry. I can't continue this texting. I want you to, as my friend, let's start again tomorrow fresh. Stop the texting wars. Be the bigger one. Because you're watching these videos, you are the bigger one. David Essel's Daily Video Boost. Let your friends and family know we're on the air for them as well, okay? Crucially important. And if you need help in any area of weight loss, addiction, money, career, whatever it is that you're, you're involved with, that you need some extra help, just email me at talkdavid.com and we'll work together, okay? Have a beautiful day.